Hello. So now we're going to do another uh, problem. It's called the it's called the Carlos Tortilla Factory problem. Okay. Let's begin by reading it. Carlos Tortilla Factory produces flour tortillas whose weights are normally distributed with mean three grams and standard deviation 0.15 grams. The question is, what is the probability a randomly selected tortilla weighs between 2.7 and 3.3 grams? Now again, what I want to do first before we do this problem, or before we actually try to solve it, is I want to draw the bell curve and I want to label it properly because that way uh, visually demonstrating or visually uh, making a picture of what the problem is saying visually will help us to ensure that we're reading it properly and that we're solving for the right quantities and maybe might help us uh, solve this problem in and of itself, okay? okay. And also like, it's good to draw the picture because uh, after a certain point, after you've drawn the pictures enough, after you've developed enough the intuition, you will, uh, you'll develop an insight, okay? But that doesn't occur until you like practice enough and incorporating as many senses as possible um, helps you to learn better. And so drawing the picture helps to incorporate the, the sense of sight and that's, you know, yeah. Anyway, so let's continue. Again, it's normally distributed with a mean of three grams. Right, and again, the mean goes right in the middle. So three grams, that's our mean, okay? Standard deviation 0.15, aha. Now here I could do the subtraction by hand, but just to save time, I'm gonna use my calculator. You can use any calculator you want for this. So three minus 0.15 is 2.85. That is mu minus one sigma, okay? In other words, the mean minus one standard deviation. I can subtract 0.15 again, and I get 2.7. That is my mean minus two standard deviation. Uh, and then I can subtract uh, a standard deviation again, and I get 2.55, okay? And that is, of course, the mean minus three standard deviation, okay? Now, I can also add uh, the standard deviation. So three plus 0.15, that would be 3.15, okay? So let's imagine. That would be the mean plus one standard deviation, right? If I add uh, 0.15 again, I'm gonna get 3.3. And that, of course, corresponds to the mean plus two standard deviation. And finally, if I add 0.15 again, I will get 3.45. And that corresponds, of course, to the mean plus three standard deviation. Now let's read the question again. What is the probability that a randomly selected tortilla weighs between 2.7 and 3.3 grams. Between 2.7 and 3.3 grams, right? So between, that means that if I put up these boundaries, I'm looking for this area, right? And it just so happens that that is the boundary lines that are set up by the mean minus two standard deviations all the way to the mean plus two standard deviations. When we remember in our brains from the empirical rule, that means that that corresponds to 95% of observations, right? When we go from the mean minus, wait, did I line those up right? Oh my God, I made that too long. Right, when I wanna find the area under the curve, when you go two to the left and two to the right, that whole area, as I've drawn here, corresponds to 95% of observations or 0.95. So the probability, okay, that, and again here, let's pretend that this distribution is X, where X is normally distributed with mean three 
standard deviation 0 0.15 as stated in the problem. So the question was, the question can be restated as what is the probability that the normal random variable here, which corresponds to the tortilla weight, uh, is, be, is uh, between 2.7 and 3.3. That probability from the empirical rule is 0 0.95, okay? And you see, what I'm trying to claim to you also in drawing this figure is that it was very easy when I drew this figure and when I labeled the, the multiples of the, of the standard deviation from the mean, it was very easy to, that, to identify that this was going to be an empirical rule problem because the 2.7 lined up exactly with two standard deviations below the mean and the 3.3 and the 3.3 lined up exactly two standard deviations to the right of the mean, okay? If I hadn't drawn it, that might not have appeared so, uh, so that, might, that might not have appeared so obvious, okay? Now it is true that we are gonna learn how to calculate uh, the probabilities under the, under the standard normal, I mean under the normal distribution later uh, for arbitrary values of the random variable uh, or arbitrary ranges uh, of values for the random variable. So we will be able to calculate this without knowing the empirical rule. Um, but if it, but if you can do this little work of drawing the figure and labeling properly and identifying the multiples of sigma, three to the left and three to the right of the mean, and it allows you to see that it actually does satisfy this criteria, that you are exactly, that the boundaries are exactly two sigma to the left and two sigma on the right, why not do it, you know? Any, anyway, but so, um, um, in other words, to summarize that discussion, what I'm saying is that although we will be able to solve this problem to find the probability that the random tor that a randomly selected tortilla will weigh between 2.7 and 3.3 grams, although we'll be able to calculate the probability without using the empirical rule, by drawing the figure, we're able to see that the empirical rule applies and we're able to, to calculate the probability with great ease if we know the empirical rule. And, um, and I just think that that's more efficient, okay? And it would only have become possible if we had drawn the, the figure. Anyway, let's move on to the next problem and I hope that you've enjoyed this discussion.